Is this okay? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, thank you um, for being here, for being uh, in uh, Joomla Day UK. Um, first of all, I want to uh, give you some information. Um, just apologize because my English is not perfect. I tried to explain you some idea about to get many um, use Joomla user in uh, UK, but you can uh, use this uh, in your country or in your area or in your city. So um, I'm Joomla user since uh, 2007 and uh, I've created my own company four years ago based only on Joomla. So now I'm a um, Joomla evangelist. I try to uh, explain and share the Joomla love every day, every time. So uh, I don't wear only uh, uh, in a Joomla event this T-shirt, but I try to wear it every day because I'm proud of Joomla. So, as a Joomla user, I always ask myself how to promote Joomla. So I create a website for clients, okay, with Joomla, but not only. Uh, how can you um, use, integrate Joomla in your own life for clients? And uh, I say, Brian, uh, make it easier, but not only make it easier, make bigger. So, the most important point for me is to, uh, to get more Joomla users, not only clients, but everywhere. Not only enterprise company, but just simple users. This is the most important. There's not only companies. So, few data about the CMS market situation today. Uh, we all know this, but it's important to keep in mind because if WordPress is still number one, there is new uh, actors in the CMS markets, uh, and uh, we must be um, aware about this and uh, how to um, to keep Joomla up to date uh, in this competition. So Joomla is uh, on the second position, but I used to say we can't compare Joomla with WordPress or Drupal or other CMS. It's CMS, yeah, okay. Apples are bananas are fruits, but can we compare bananas and apple? Not sure. Okay. If we want to increase Joomla, we, uh, I think we must first identify the, um, the weaknesses of Joomla. So, for me, web agency and freelancers are focused on the same business targets. It's a weakness, it's a, for me it's a weakness because we are all focused on the same targets and we forget the others. We don't think bigger. We just think about money, of course. It's important money to make money, to get incomes, okay. But for, we, for Joomla, it's not, uh, it's not a good decision. If you think only because you're a freelancer or web agency, it's a good position, but not for Joomla. We used to say to clients, oh, creating a website is really complicated, so give me your idea, give me your money, I'll do the job for you. But for Joomla, if we want to increase Joomla, it's better to learn you how to create a website, how to use your website. Not for a freelancer. Freelancer say, you have a question? Okay, give me your question, give me your money, and I will answer. 
Joomla has um, low representation in some major countries. Uh, not only in Europe, but in Asia, of course. We need to increase Joomla representation in more in India or in China, but not only. Not only. In Europe, too. Or maybe also I'm thinking about Africa or South America. And another point is the, the marketing. Uh, there is no, not enough communication about Joomla. Maybe lots of people know about WordPress. I want to create a blog, I want to create a WordPress. So, but who say, I want to create a Joomla website? No. Joomla? What is it, Joomla? We know what is Joomla here, but outside in the streets, ask someone, what is Joomla? No, no. Okay. Now, this is the, the situation. So now, how we can increase the Joomla users in our country? A few months ago, I saw a tweet. This one. It's um, CA correction. It's um, uh, in California, and uh, it's about uh, a project just launched uh, with uh, CAPA uh, prisoner. Um, TLM is uh, an association, the Last Mile. And our create, uh, reactor is a company who provide um, computers. They bring tech education to inmates, prisoners, in uh, St. Quentin prison. I say, oh, yeah, nice. They learn prisoners how to code. Nice idea. Yeah, why not? It's great. And then I say, OK. Let's see this, because it's uh, important for, um, uh, not really session, uh, professional, when a prisoner go, uh, come back in real life and uh, seeking for jobs and say, good. So I click on the link and I found this article on uh, CBS blog of uh, San Francisco. And um, there are many uh, 18 uh, prisoners while learning, learning code and getting uh, a diploma for coding. Nice. And a few days ago, I saw this article on the Wall Street Journal about uh, digits. It's uh, the same project, say, OK, it's great. It's Something real and something really important. New at six, some prisoners at San Quentin are getting ready to get back into the real world one mass prison. Sorry for the sound. Okay. And after this, I think to myself, why not teach creating website Joomla to French prisoners? Yeah, why not? Not so difficult. But think bigger. Let's think bigger. Why not creating a website with Joomla with to student unemployed or retired still looking for something to do? Because student, prisoners, retired, unemployed, the people are not chasing by freelancers. If you're a freelancer, you want to be paid, but if you create a website to an employed person, I'm not sure it will pay you. So you prefer to work with company, make money. But this is the people that need, they need to access to internet. They need to create website because they need to uh, present uh, the, the resume, maybe. They need to, uh, to get involved with their family if you're retired. 
they, are, they need a website. So if we are helping them to create a website with Joomla, we also increase the number of Joomla users. OK? Another question. How many prisoners are in UK? Jazz, any idea? No? We got it. Brilliant. <laughs> Student. Uh, 2.3 million. OK. Unemployed. How many? Yeah. Last one, retired? How many? Five? Not sure. A little bit more. Yeah. So you have 15 million people here in UK. It's, um, in France, we have maybe more, more than 20 million. OK? So. We can contact them. We can teach them how to create a website with Joomla. Oh, 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 you do that. OK. To create a website with Joomla, we need a computer. We need a local server, or server, but local, and the latest Joomla. OK. I use a local server because if you want to create, uh, you want to learn to create a Joomla website to prisoners. If you go into a prison, your computer don't have to access to internet. Security reason, okay? Safety reason. So a local server. That's we computer, local server, and pay, uh, Joomla package. That's all we need. Okay, computers. Where we can find computers? Not in shops. No. There are many uh, industries like banking or insurance or mutual insurance company have high tech. And we can have them. I've worked 20 years, 20 years, yeah, uh, in insurance and mutual company. And we, we used to have um, this IT materials, and we can, we can go and ask them for sponsorship, for um, good cause as a sponsorship, okay? Local server is provided only uh, simply on a USB stick, simply. And the teacher, where we can find teacher? Yes, we have them. Yes, we have administrators, we have volunteers, juke members. So we can, we have the IT materials, we have the teachers, everything we need. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. To get into a prison, you need some um, uh, agreements, but it's not really complicated. I get. I'm already involved with uh, some French uh, association works uh, with uh, prisoners, but it's not really. It's not impossible to do. That, that the, um, the most important thing is to, uh, to think about security with issue uh, with uh, computers and USB stick. 
Remember that some prisoners don't know what is an email. If you are in prison since 25 years, never see an email. Okay. Good question. Who will pay for this? The only cost is the volunteer time. The only cost. We don't need million dollars, million of pounds, million of euros. No, we just need time to do that. Okay, now, how, how can we go then and do this? Create a, first, create a complete course. Source for material IT. Contact local, regional, and national associations. Say, hey, we've got something for you, and it's free. And then start to spread the Joomla love all around the UK or all around Germany, France, everywhere. Okay? So, let's make it happen. So, if you have some questions, uh, you have here links about um, the Synchrotron project, if you want to, to get more, to, to have more information, and if you have questions about this, feel free. Yes. I have an observation on the Synchrotron project. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. sorry, sorry. Yeah, already? Yeah. So that exists, the education of the prisoners. And yeah, yeah. In France, we have two. Yeah. Charity. So probably we we'll approach them with a program. Yeah, okay. And you put this into your curriculum that you're actually doing. Exactly. That would run. Yeah. You just need the people to do it. Yeah. It's not, it's not uh, a revolution. It's just, yeah, we, we can do something similar. Say, we are doing this. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. So they would put it in. So that's kind of what I thought. If this is the future that you'll take off, like where, where would it stop? You could have a foundation to do like get that work yeah. and want to get it across the world. It's like a charity for those less fortunate. If Joomla's got that name and they're trying to help those less fortunate everywhere, that is really good for us to keep in mind. Exactly. And they could have the virtual Joomla Academy so hmm? people can come into it from anywhere and get the credit. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people there, you know, they study on their mobiles because that's the technology they have. Um, so they could easily do stuff and then go to schools where they would have more computers probably have to learn. But that's why a lot of them get into work today because yeah. they know it's so easy. So. You're right. Perfectly. <laughs> I'm afraid about her. She's nice, but no, I'm afraid. Yeah, yeah. Don't fight me. So basically, I talked about two things which are happening here in the UK. Switch, switch on the mic. Right. Can everybody hear me now? Yeah, yeah it's better. This is weird. So basically, there's a charity called Genesis, which does educational training for prisoners. Yeah. I actually do know one of the people who runs it, so this is something I'm going to be speaking to Ron putting into the plans. Um, and in terms of getting Joomla into uh, schools and education, yeah. because there is so much um, investment being done on the STEM side here in the UK, I think officially saying this is the Joomla program 
investment programs, Dream Academy, whatever you want to call it, foundation. Yeah, and you actually give it a real loud burst and we start being very vocal about it, it will get pushed out because there is actually um, spend behind it, there's funding to go for it. So I don't think it would be any of a problem to replicate what you mm -hmm. actually just exactly. said. Other questions? I'll try to understand you. Okay, go. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, it could be job skilled yet, but it's also uh, uh, a possibility to them to, to present the, uh, the resume online. Uh, and um, it's also the possibility to them to meet other people. And maybe network, maybe it's a new opportunity for you to change your life, to, change, to find a job, but to just taste it. It's not about, sk it's skills, of course, but not only. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Merci. Thank you for your patience and... Uh, <laughs>